Okay, now we're going to continue where we left off. So we're going to we're going to create a new form. Okay, so this is the form's name here. So this is just used to identify the form settings. So we'll call this list building list leads. Okay, our newsletter. So we've defined only one newsletter, but the list drop down list will be there. Return URL. This is where they're going to be sent after they have subscribed. So you'd want to set up a page somewhere or you could send them to your blog home page wherever you want to send them this is where you put the URL in here. Okay so I'm just going to use my front page for now but you could just go and set up a page on your on your blog or you could set up a page somewhere else. Okay blog description this will if you want you can add them in to your posts you can sort of subscribe them to your posts or you can subscribe them to a category I'm not going to do that on a standalone autoresponder okay follow-up subscription so the content that will follow up will be the autoresponder lead list here okay so that's going to add them to our lead list autoresponder and then our subscribe button text I, we have subscribe here we can change that okay so down here we have our confirmation email so we can change these if we want down here okay so let's create the form and get the code now if you wanted to put it on the sidebar you can use widgets and put it on the sidebar of your blog okay but what I want to do is use the form code now with the form code you can put it on any web page so that's how we're able to use this autoresponder for any of our websites okay so what we'll do is we'll do a select all here and copy you can preview here it's outside of our window here Okay, so that's all it is. It says name and email and subscribe. So what you could do is just build yourself a table or use the div tags and create a nice nice uh, box to put around this. This is just gives you the basic part of the subscribe box, just like any other autoresponder. Uh, it doesn't have any styling, so you're going to have to do that part yourself. Okay, so let's take that now. Go to our front page. And we're going to edit page. And we'll just say subscribe here. Now, we need to go to text here. We can't do this in visual because this is code that we have here. So we're using it in WordPress. We're going to have to put that in like that. We'll update. Okay, now let's view the page. So we'll visit the site okay, because we set this as our front page. And here we go. Okay, as you see, my wonderful typing, I made a mistake up here, but we can fix that easily. So enter your name. The Tony and email okay so let's subscribe now we'll run through a test okay now remember our return you all just sent us back here but we could we would have set up a custom page okay so now at that email address we should have received our email for the subscription Okay, so here we are. Here's the response required email. So let's click on that. So it wants us to confirm. And th so here it is. We'll click on the confirm link here. Okay, so it's confirmed our subscription. 
Now let's go back in here and let's do a refresh. All right, so now it sent us the automated newsletter just telling them that they are in the autoresponder sequence and they're soon going to start receiving the emails. And here they can manage their email subscription. So let's go here. And remember I, when we set up the, the uh, newsletter, we were able to list the name of the newsletter so that we can show them here and they can unsubscribe to multiple at once. Let's just cancel that. Okay, so there it is. So now our autoresponder will start sending out the newsletters. Okay, so back to our dashboard, you'll see that we now have one confirmed subscriber. Okay, now let's go down here to background processes. This is where you can, can uh, set your autoresponders to run. And you also have your post series, which we didn't go here, but if you use the post series, you can use that newsletter broadcast processor. So that's for broadcast blog post email delivery responses. That's for blog posts, which we didn't go over and we're not using here and blog category subscriptions. Okay. So you can use these to force the delivery. And then here you have queue management. This shows you what's in the queues. So we have one email pending delivery. So it's going to go out to that subscriber, which we just tested. And once it does, it will delete the sent emails out of here by itself. Okay, so it's all ready to go. Okay, now let's talk about broadcasts. So we can do a new broadcast. And we can broadcast to the newsletter and then we can put in our subject here our text body okay then we have our custom fields so we have name and email down here and then if we want to send it in HTML we can send it in HTML as well so either way you can do text and then if you want to do HTML as well I'm going to disable HTML so let's just put a a quick one in here. Let's just say subject test test broadcast. And testing. Okay. Down here we can send it immediately or we can set a time. Okay, so if we click this we can go into here, set the date and time. I'm going to send it immediately. Okay, so there's a preview function here, but there's a bug in it. So as you see, it's it doesn't work. So just have a look at what you've put in here and make sure that it's okay. Then we can just send the message. Okay, so there we go. It's been scheduled and we've been delivered at the specified time, which was immediately. So if we go down to queue management now, you'll see that we have one in here. Okay, so we should get a broadcast shortly. Now, what we can do, if we go down to background procs, we can tell it to to use the broadcast. So the newsletter broadcast processor, we can click run now and that'll process those. Okay, let's go back to key management. Okay, you'll see we have two in the queue now. Okay, so it's going to send those out and once it does it'll delete them out of the queue. Just a couple of more quick subjects here. Let's go to actions. What this is, is it's list automation. So what you can do is if they unsubscribe from one newsletter, you can have them subscribe to another. This is how you could use 
or you could build your buyers list from a lead list. So if they unsubscribe from the list building newsletter, you can subscribe them to a different newsletter. So if you had a course on building a list and they subscribe to that, you would want to unsubscribe them from this newsletter. So that keeps your buyers list and your leads list separate. Okay, and then the other thing is you can import and export leads. Okay, so if you are if you have a different autoresponder, you can bring them in here. So you can import your leads or you can download and export your leads here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. That's how you can set up your own autoresponder system using WordPress.